No, you just said something really interesting there. I did. Food. <laughs> Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Twosome. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a kebab, and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. What do we have today? Today, we are at a newly opened restaurant on Robson Street in downtown Vancouver called Rolly. It's Indian street food and it is like fast food. You order at the counter and you kind of just get your thing to go. And they specialize in rolls, hence the name Rolly. The space inside is very small. There are only two seats and they have a bunch of seating outside that they share with other restaurants on the street. So if the weather's not nice, you wouldn't be able to sit outside and even the seating inside isn't great. So you probably would get the food to go. It's not a vegetarian or vegan restaurant, but they do have clearly marked vegan options on their menu. So we got the rolls because again, it's known for its rolls. I got the veg kebab roll and it does have vegan mayo and also cilantro, which I asked to remove. You can also upgrade it to a combo where you can choose either fries or veggie samosa plus the pot. I got the harigari kebab roll, which was essentially the same thing as what Diana got, but a spicy version. It was a little bit hard at first, making sure that our order was vegan. So we kept emphasizing everything needed to be vegan. And once I understood that, it was a little bit easier ordering a mirrors roll. So for my veg kebab roll, it was, I don't know what to call it, this kind of wrap, this flat round bread that was pretty tasty. It kind of reminded me of like a green onion pancake, but no green onions and inside it was stuffed with the deep fried, I guess, veggies, the veggie kebab. And it had mint chutney and mayo. And that was pretty much it. I don't think there were any other vegetables really in this roll. And the other thing I didn't know, this roll was a very long, thin roll. Like I'm thinking burrito is often short and fat, but this was a very long, thin roll, which made it easier to eat. Because when it's really fat, ingredients kind of spill out of it and it gets really messy. But with this, you can fit it easily in your mouth and it was neat to eat. I actually really enjoyed my roll. What did you think? I thought the kebab itself tasted pretty good. It reminded me of a flawful. I believe it was potato based and they had chickpeas and other vegetables in there. But it was lacking ingredients for sure. I think it would have been way better if you had some tomatoes, some pickles, some lettuce. It was just the filling and that's all there was to it. But it tasted pretty good. I'm not gonna complain. Shall we? One, One two, three. Before we talk about the Hariyali roll, let's talk about the hairing up and subscribing to this channel. If you like our content, if you like what we do, do us a favor, press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Let's talk about the Hariyali kebab. Again, this was pretty much exact same as Diana's, except it was a little bit spicier. Vegan mayo, chutney, tasted really good. Could have been even more spicier. And again, I would have loved to have some tomatoes, some pickles, maybe some lettuce in there. It would have been way, way, way better. What do you think? I liked yours because it was just like mine, except like, as you said, a little bit spicier. And even though his had cilantro, I didn't feel like it was too overpowering. So if you don't like cilantro, it's okay. Even with cilantro, this one is decent. I got mine with combo, and you had an option between fries and samosas, and I chose the samosa. I thought the samosas were really good. There was three of them, not too greasy, nicely flavored, spicy. Quite like them. What do you think? The samosas were really good. They were a little bit spicy and they were very cute. For the extra $4 upgrade to a combo, 
I would recommend getting those samosas over the fries. I think it's more filling, it's more worth your value. And if you're at an Indian restaurant, why not get samosas instead of regular fries? One, One two, two, three. Cool. Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try that yourself. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. Amir, would you go back to eat at Rolzi again? I think I would. I enjoyed my experience. The food was good. They had other options, other Indian cuisine, that I think would be cool in a roll. And I would try it for sure. How about yourself? I'm actually very surprised that you would go back considering how hard it was to get a veganized roll. But I'm glad you liked it. I would go back again as well. It's very close to us. It's on our way when we go see the White Caps game. So it's another option if we are hungry and we want to eat before the game. And I feel like the price is so good. We were talking about fast food and how expensive it can be. And with this, a roll and a combo is only $13.99. So I think it's a great deal for a quick meal. Yeah, I'd like to add again, you're, you're right, it was a little bit difficult getting getting our food veganized, but I got no problem being annoying. I got no problem asking about every ingredient and making sure my food is vegan. Because guess what? I'm vegan, motherfucker. Take a look at this video on Amir's face. Is it vegan? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hope so. <laughs> Wanted to see what reaction yeah. Amir would give with that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>